Okay, so I've got a few minutes of practice and I'm going to be checking out these new reads from Marker. They've sent me a whole bunch of reads today. Let's see what they sound like. I got a great message this week from one of my sax school students saying that he's just changed his mouthpiece to a bigger size but the sound isn't as good anymore. What should I do differently? It's a good question that I get those sort of questions a lot and the thing is, you know, you've got to remember that if you're changing your mouthpiece, it's good to experiment with a different type of reed and I think also it's good to experiment with different brands of reeds. I'm a Leger reed artist. I play Leger reeds on all my saxes now. Absolutely love them. But it's still good to check out different reads from time to time because sometimes it can give you a different sound that just inspires you or perhaps is a better match with a new mouthpiece or a new mouthpiece size. So let's check out these reads. I've sent me a whole bunch here. Look, alto reads, soprano ones, radio. There's three different types of tenor reads in here. They've got their American vintage. There's the jazz. So if you look at those ones there. Uh, jazz ones. And then they've also got, oh, I like these ones look fancy, superior. When I'm looking at cane reeds, I often I look across them with a light behind just to look at the shape of the reed because you, what you really want is a heart, the heart of the reed to be a nice point like that. I think that always gives you the more balanced sound. This looks great actually. This is the American Vintage. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the way this American Vintage, it plays great, you know. It's got a really lovely response all the way over my range and I can get right up into my altissimo pretty clearly too. Yeah, the overtones too. Right, I'm going to try the superior reeds now. Why are these things always so hard to open? It's always exciting putting a new read on your saxophone, don't you think? There's a great sense of expectation and hope and positivity when you stick a new read on your mouthpiece. You don't know what it's going to sound like. It's always exciting to find out. <laughs> Wow, that reed's got a completely different sound, much, much darker. I'm going to try another one in the box because I just want to see if, if they all sound like that. It's nice though. So this is a superior reed. Superior? Hey, it's still a really nice read, but it's much, much darker than the American Vintage. I think I like the American Vintage better, if I'm honest with you, but probably just because it suits the sort of playing that I'm doing, where I'm doing a, a more broad range of styles. Sometimes in sax school I'm making a pop lesson, the next day I might be making a, a funk thing or a jazz standard. So I need to have a very versatile sound. I'm using a um, Theo one a Slant Sig mouthpiece, which is very versatile as well. So for me, this is probably a bit dark, but if you're playing in a concert band setting or doing classical saxophone or straight ahead jazz, then I reckon this would be a nice read because I love the body and the depth of it. It's a different sort of sound to other reads that I've tried to other cane reads. One of the things I love about trying out a different read like this is it can give you an unexpected result, you know? Maybe it opens up your mind to a new sound that you've not thought of before or not heard or inspires you to play in a different way. So it's always great to check out different sort of reed, and I think these are great. So if you get a chance to check these out, these are the Marker reeds, French company from down on the south coast of France. And um, for these two different types I've tried, really, really good. <laughs> Yeah, so that's back to the American Vintage. I like the American Vintage, that's my personal favourite. But you need to try, try them out and see what works for you. <laughs> 
So if you've checked out these reeds yourself, maybe you can let me know in a comment or let me know which one of these marker reeds you like the best. Do you like the Jazz or do you like the American Vintage? Or if you're an alto player, maybe the Premiums. Or if you've got another brand that you prefer, let me know. Hey, if it's your first time here, please do subscribe. I'm putting a new lesson out each week and that way you'll know what's coming up. So I'm always making new lessons to help you learn saxophone, keep you inspired, and most importantly, help you have some fun. Catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.